week five of the fantasy football season. And here's a few wide receivers. I have his sleepers this week. The first guy, Nico Collins of the Houston Texans. And Nico Collins, a lot of hype coming into the season for the most part for fantasy owners. But he really hasn't lived up to the expectations of being the number two guy behind Brandon Cooks over there in Houston. The last couple games here for him, week two with Denver, four catches, 58 yards. Week three, Chicago, two catches, 41 yards. And last week, his best game of his of the season here for Collins versus the Chargers. Three catches, 82 yards. So right here, week five at Jacksonville, it's a beatable matchup. He's a guy that possibly could get a few catches in the ball game. And hey, if you could pick up a guy off the wire and insert him into your lineup and he could get 8 to 12 fantasy points, you could do far worse, especially with some of the busts we've seen so far this season. So right now, Collins, he's available in 78% of fantasy leagues. And if you're in a pinch at a three receiver league or a flex option in deeper leagues, maybe he's a guy to roll the dice with. The next guy is Randall Day Moore of the Arizona Cardinals. So right now we know the number the two top targets right now are Hollywood Brown and then Zach Ertz at the tight end position over there in Arizona. But Moore came back last week and he pretty much took Greg Dorch's snaps and his role, even though he didn't do anything in terms of fantasy football. Three catches, eleven yards, five targets. And a rush attempt for negative four yards. But right there, Greg Dorch had one catch for six yards in the game after he had a good start to the season in the first three weeks. So right here, week five versus Philly. I expect this ball game to be a high-scoring ball game and a possible big shootout between these two teams. Indoor game, they don't got to worry about the weather on the East Coast. We saw the conditions over there in Philadelphia last week that definitely hurt Trevor Lawrence and that Jacksonville offense. But anyway, Renaldi Moore... He's in the offense. He's got a role. And DeAndre Hopkins, he's still out a few more weeks. And A.J. Green, he's questionable for this ball game. So right now, if you really want to roll the dice and take a shot at someone, I think Ronaldo Moore is a decent option this week because he's in a good offense. He's in an offense that's going to throw the football 35, 40 times. And you know, Kyler Murray likes to get the ball to his speedy playmakers. So maybe more in this one, he could have, be a burner and get a long ball for a touchdown. So he's a guy having a sleeper option this week in the Third and final wide receiver I have as a sleeper this week is A. Jones of the Jacksonville Jaguars. So Zay Jones was a hot pickup two weeks ago. Then last week, he was banged up in practice, but was supposed to play. But with the weather conditions, I think they held him out. But right now, early in the week, he's gotten in practices here is Zay Jones. And he's available right now in 74% of fantasy weeks. So, so far this season, in the three games he's played, he's reached double digits in two of them. Week one at Washington, six catches. 65 yards in week three at the Chargers, a monster game 11 targets 10 catches 85 yards in the touchdown so week five here versus houston as long as the weather's good and zay jones is good to go i think he could have a decent ball game anywhere from possibly 8 to 15 fantasy point range and the last week trevor lawrence definitely was missing zay jones marvin jones he didn't do anything he had a goose egg in that ball game and zay jones and lawrence have the good rapport and last week with the wet conditions, it was probably better off that Zay Jones sat out. And this week he gets back on the field and could be a factor for fantasy owners. So right now is a flex option or number three receiver in deeper leagues. I have him as a sleeper this week. So that's a few wide receivers. I have his sleeper options for week five of the fantasy football season.